It was a ceremony with great fanfare. All right. That had people lined up for more than an hour, eager to taste some of Flay's favorites. We promise to uh, give you fantastic burgers, fries, and shakes, and don't forget to get your burger crunchified. If you don't know what that means, come on in and we'll tell you. Once inside, guests can choose from 10 unique burgers for less than $8 each. It seems like it's different than most of the eating establishments in College Park, and I'm sick of the usual one choices, so I just wanted to try something new. It's the first Bobby's Burger Palace to open up in Maryland. And without a signature restaurant in town, Clay hopes his will become a staple in the College Park community. We know that the University of Maryland students are very uh, food sophisticated, and they want something maybe a little bit better in terms of the burger, fries, and shakes department. So here we are. After seeing a decrease in sales for the past three years, the restaurant industry is expecting a growth in 2011. And with places like this opening up in College Park, it's a good sign for the Maryland community. Prince George's County Councilman Eric Olson says Bobby's Burger Palace can be the foundation of a revitalization project on Route 1 near the main entrance to UMD's campus. That's, that's the whole vision of the corridor is to get you know, residential and office uh, above uh, on the upper floors and, and, and good quality retail and restaurants on the ground floor. Flay hopes to capitalize on the more than 3,000 students who live in the apartments directly above his restaurant. He admits many may come for his name, but hopes his burgers keep them coming back. In College Park, Daniel Baker, Maryland Newsline Monday.